Welcome to another edition of the Insider Gridiron Report. I'm Jared Johnson, and I'm joined by the mighty Joe Yeager. Mighty Joe, man, we're going to do something a little different this week on the Gridiron Report. Uh, instead of just picking one topic or one or two topics and, and, and going over that, uh, one of our subscribers, one of our friends, uh, Red Raider KA, asked us a, a series of questions, basically, who's going to be the statistical leaders in, in uh, several categories. So I thought we'd go through that in, in this edition of the Gridiron Report. Uh, let's start with leading rusher. Who's, who do you think is going to lead the team in Russia? I think you and I talked about this before, but interesting to see if you've changed your mind, if either one of us have changed our mind at all. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I think I have changed my mind, yeah. actually. Uh, I'm going to go ahead with Shine. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm actually starting to lean kind of towards Tazon, maybe. Really? Uh, yeah, so I'm going back and forth, too. But, no, I think Shine, he, look, they've all three spent time banged up and missed some, some time in fall camp. But I think all three are going to be available for the opener. And uh, they're gonna, I think there's going to be a competition all the way leading up to the Big 12 opener, to be honest. I think, all, I think through Arizona. They're gonna, there's going to be a big competition at running back to see who's going to be the guy or maybe the two guys. You know, with the third guy, they're, you know, really kind of upset about it, to be honest. All right, who's going to be the leading receiver? Now, do we mean by reception yards or receptions? Good question. Let's go uh, with both, just real quick. Which okay, one? yeah, yeah. In terms of total receptions, I'll go with Maddox. Okay. McLean Maddox. Uh, yardage, Fasher. All right, uh, you know that's interesting. I'm gonna go with Easy E, and I know I'm going out. Of, like people are like, "Well, you're 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 probably overhyping this this freshman. He's a redshirt freshman, but he's he's looked really good." Uh, Eric Azukama, I think, is gonna lead in yards, not receptions. Now, what's interesting about the receptions is Dalton Rigdon's been kind of leading the way there at H in the slot. So, how much is he gonna steal from Mannix? I think they're both gonna catch a lot of balls, but I wonder if it's gonna be like where I thought Mannix was gonna catch 80 where both maybe catch 40, 45. So, cause I think they're really, I know Wells said recently, I know Yost has said, and then just what I'm hearing uh, through the grapevine is that basically those receivers are playing very well. And then Xavier White is a name that just keeps coming up. I've heard every coach basically, including the defensive coordinator and uh, Alan Bowman recently bring him up that Xavier White is a guy that they can't keep off the field because when they when the walk on gets out there and gets his opportunity, he makes plays. So. Uh, I think this going to be split up a little bit. So I, I'm going to go with Vasher for most catches, actually, which I know is weird. I think Easy E is actually going to be the, the the yak guy, the yards per catch, the big play. Uh, and, you, and Keyshawn Carter is a guy to watch, too, there. I'm getting excited. If you can't tell, I'm getting excited for That's season starts. Good. It is wide receiver you now. All right. Uh, leading tackler on the season, I'm going to jump in there and say Jordan Brooks. Yeah, I'll agree with that. All right. Rico is going to give him a run for his money, but I think Jordan. Uh, all right, how many turnovers does the defense force? This is a tough one. Yeah, let's go with 17. I'm going to go with 21. Tech wins nine games if it forces more than 21 turnovers. <laughs> it stays healthy. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, I'm going to go with um, you have a running back run for over 1,200 yards. Because I, to me, nine, yeah, nine wins be. is – I mean, that's way above what I'm projecting. Well, how many yeah. times has Tech won nine games in, in well, your lifetime is a very different thing than my lifetime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Jared. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a rare occurrence. Right. Uh, it's four games better than I'm expecting. Uh, and that's, that's, that's the, the weak area that I see on this team is, is the ground game. Uh, and so if somebody were to really step up and, uh, you know, rush for over 1200 and especially if you could average over five yards per pop yeah man then you're cooking so we'll to, see and to be clear and you've said like what a big deal that would be and how much that would surprise you that's we're talking about a deandre washington type year yeah. where you're in contention for first team all big 12 which is you know what he was sure. his, his senior year here uh all right tech wins five games if what uh, everything goes according to script <laughs> because right, I mean that's what that's what I expect. That's what I expect. So that's that's what I think is going to happen. I'm afraid. I'm a little more optimistic going into the season, but by that I just mean like a game. Uh, now that's a big difference between going to a bowl and not, honestly. But uh, I, I think they just if they if they don't stay healthy, if Bowman goes down early, or if they get hurt in the running back position or in the secondary where they're all thin, then I think Tech could be in some big trouble because they got a really tough schedule there at the end of September. And through, I guess, most of October, where it's just, I think they're going to lose four in a row, to be honest, just because it's like Oklahoma State at Baylor, Oklahoma, you know, Oklahoma before that. Uh, it's just, it's Iowa State. I mean, those are tough games for, for the Red Raiders. So 
they need to stay healthy to have a shot to have a good season and to win more than five games. But Mighty Joe, great stuff from you as always. Great questions uh, from Red Raider KA. Thank you all for watching, and until next time.